Oh yes, hello my friends. Any wise words for us today? It's an absolute bluebird. Go swimming. Are you sure, wise owl? Cause lose weight, you fat fuck. Thank you, DJ Who Kid. Thank you. That I can live with. That's good. Well, it's fairly obvious that we're dealing with some serious water weight fluctuations here, but uh, 220 is cool. I can deal with it. That's a nice jump off point. It's pretty close to where we left off in a sense before the birthday extravaganza fiasco. So, DJ Who Kid told me it's a bluebird out today and I gotta catch water and that's what I'm gonna do, me and my sister and the dog. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna catch some nature footage, maybe catch some water footage, some dog footage, just a little uh, happy little montage. We gotta make our first juice of the juice feast, fast, whatever you want to call it. It's more of a fast than anything. I'm not really feasting. I might have two a day, basically. Um, but before that... I make your bad bitch. I make your bad bitch. I make your bad bitch. Okay. I make your bad bitch. I make a bad bitch for a better a day. I make your bad. are here half a lemon chunk of ginger might be a little much half a cuke many celeries we got our Jack LaLanne fusion juicer ready to be the star of the show First reaction of the first juice on the first day of the first feast of the first fast of the first sip. Could have used a quarter of a less lemon. Ginger, perfect. The cuke celery mix is delicious. Hydrating, a little salty, a little less lemon, a little tart, but for the most part, is delicious. We must get that good green energy located into our hiking container. Nice. <laughs> it would warm up a little bit. So calm. Wow. She's glass today. Such a clear paddle. Crazy how clear and calm it is. Nice job, Chief. Excuse me. Oh, she got the wrong thing. <laughs> You're supposed to get your toy. Supposed to get your toy. Why'd you just get stick? Man, I cannot believe how calm it is. This is prime time, y'all. Check this. You can just see right to the bottom on days like today. Any dead bodies? No dead bodies. Always good a good day when there's no dead bodies, you know? I am no experienced paddle boarder. <laughs> what? Oh, I gotta say. You're supposed to put your weight evenly this way. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought I was supposed to snowboard. I gotta stand more like a Hawaiian. Yeah. Like I'm on the island of Oahu. And then you crisscross. Ah. That's where I want to be. Yeah. Away we go. take y'all with me for a little cruise oh yeah cruising right along now 
much better without my legs in the water. <laughs> yeah. They were throwing off my di directionality big time. This is dope now. Oh, it's just glass already. It's just watery. Definitely should have GoPro for this shit. Truly a vibe. Truly a vibe. Oh, we're cooking with gas. True portage, baby. True portage. <laughs> That core. Oh, it's a little rough on the core. I got duckies. Look at them. I got duckies and mama bird. They here. Look at them go. Doesn't she want to kill them all the time? Look at these guys. Come closer, my friends. Come closer. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we can do this. Can we? That's a hop off. You gotta lean. Uh, got it. Uh. Is that the dog alarm? Probably. <laughs> it's funny how it sounds so much like an alarm, too. Friends? You guys call a truce? What's your you little jerk. <laughs> what a standoff. The young skittish pup just wanted a bath. But then the mama wanted to kill her. She's way more tough than the young skittish pup. The young skittish pup is distracted by bubbles and shaking. The young skittish pup has no bravery. She just wants to dunk in the lake and to observe an aggressive alarm sounding like mother with her ducklings upon the lake superior. Once again, the young skittish pup, not the smartest of the breeds, the cutest though for sure. Last time y'all messed with a super soaker though. I remember I got this thing for my birthday, man. I totally forgot this thing even existed. The CPF 2500 constant pressure system. <laughs> Yo, let's fill this up and see if we can make it actually work. If this works, I'm gonna fucking freak out. <laughs> man, I told you guys, my legs are so sore for run dirt bikes. Yo, all we gotta do is fill this tank. Give it a dunkaroo. Get in there. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Fancy footwork. Oh, and she's full. We have life. It's happening. What an inferior weapon. It's all you get. 
Well, I do remember now it being kind of a piece of shit back in the day when I got it. This one. This one was the tits. This is that quick pump action, rapid fire. This is the weapon you want. You pop out corners, it's just... Rapid fire. Gotta mic up to spread this wisdom. <laughs> Always miking up to spread this wisdom. Bottoms up. Very parched after uh, just getting back in from the water with my sister there. Hope you guys enjoyed that little out on the lake content there. It was so serene. It was so chill. So amazing. Just vibing in the sun. The clouds kind of came, it got a little not so great, but now I'm back in town in my backyard and of course it's just sweltering heat. Um, you can probably hear some construction, I'm sorry about that, but I'd rather shoot this outside like this than shoot this inside the house because I'd rather just be outside right now in my 80s dad gear, you know? So first thing I'll say is this, is I can already tell that because I like gave my body that food for a few days, that now I'm gonna have to like rebeat that like initial fasting hunger again. That first 24, 36, 40 hours is kind of like that phase where it's like, oh, like your body is like, oh, this again. But then once you get past like the second day, it's just like, it's so smooth sailing. And I'll even say that in my video where I went to do that eating day that you saw, the, the refeed, I honestly felt like I just could have kept going and going at that point. Like I almost was bummed out that I even did refeed but i was like you know 130 hours is, is, is enough i need to have some food here so and uh, i knew i was having dinner meals and that for my birthday and shit coming up so whatever but anyways beyond that i actually just want to talk about something right now that's super like this weird phenomena that's happened like lately in our society or in the last i don't know 20 30 years kind of thing i feel like there's this weird thing where we've let the standard of of what is like a normal body be pushed to like it's actually a fat body but we don't see it as such and I mean it like this, it's like, okay, so now it's like morbidly obese people are fat. Fat people are kind of normal. Normal people like you'd see on like the human chart, just a normal dude who just eats well, doesn't exercise too crazy, but just as normal is considered fit. And then fit people are considered like freaks. Whereas I think that's totally wrong. I think we should all be like, I think we should all be like normal on that scale of like the human chart. You see the first guy on the chart, like that guy that's like that's normal that's not fit that's normal uh, but our new normal is like like what i am kind of i feel like and um in society like you could see me on this video or on my videos and be like yeah yeah oh you're carrying an extra few extra pounds 20 pounds like but i would never classify you as fat but like for me when i look at myself in the mirror i'm like i'm fat like i have fat to lose i got lots of fat on my body and even if I went to the doctor right now and I needed a surgery or something, the doctor would say, hey man, like you gotta lose 20, 30 pounds. Like you are not in normal fit shape. You are not in like normal standard human condition to like, to, to be considered like in shape or fit. And uh, it's just this weird thing where I feel, feel like the, uh, the standard has been pushed to like, if you're carrying 20 or 30 extra pounds, you're considered like normal and healthy and uh, I've just always been like that my whole entire life. Like I've always carried just that extra weight and always kind of like duped myself into believing like I've always known like, oh, I'm not optimal or anything in my own head. And I know that I've never been like super stoked on my body ever because I've never got it like truly fit. But uh, I do know that like we kind of like let ourselves believe or societally we've kind of made this standard of like, oh it's not so bad like you're pretty normal but it's like really we're all carrying like a bunch of extra weight that we shouldn't be carrying so i mean i've totally been that way my whole life pretty much my whole adult life anyways i've got you know fairly in shape a few times but never even i don't think i've ever even truly been in normal fit human shape like a regular human shape and 
I don't know that I'm gonna do that now. Like, we'll see where I go with this. Let's see well, how much the, the ball gets rolling with the momentum of everything. Ultimately, I just wanna get somewhere where I'm comfortable with myself again and like stoked on what I look like and not disappointed when I look in the mirror more or less. And for me over time, over my life, the, the main reason for that is, and something I'm gonna have, once I lose the, the weight here, I'm gonna have to work on like, bringing it into my life as a part of a daily thing and adopting it as a routine is the fact that like exercise for me it's just like even when I used to play competitive soccer like I hated going to practice and doing drills and all that crap because for me I just hate the monotony of exercise I hate boring exercise now here's the thing when I used to play soccer it was like put me in put me in to, f to play four games in a row I will be out there running my ass off playing the game four games in a row. I'll not even notice that I'm doing a ton of cardio and shit because I'm playing a game. It's interesting to my mind. Like I always just hated, I hate monotonous exercise. I hate how boring all of it is. I hate how the whole time you're doing it, all you are is thinking like, gotta lose weight, gotta lose weight, gotta lose, like all this shit. It's like hard to enjoy any of it because it seems like you're doing it for this purpose and this purpose only and like not for enjoyment not for general health, not to like get lost in your thoughts, to be meditative. Like I've never been able to enter that headspace when it came to working out. I mean, and that's why the, I work out the way I am with these is like, I'm going to go play soccer. And then like walking with a podcast is like at least distracting enough and walking's not too intense on my body and my lungs and everything. And it's like, I can do that for two or three hours and listen to a podcast and be intrigued and not be in pain and shit like that. Cause I've just always hated the working out aspect of like, weight and weight loss now what's weird for me is when it comes to the making healthier choices eating different foods fasting going against my own mind and brain and stomach that shit's easy to me but yeah like the restrictiveness the dieting the different foods all that stuff it's like that's not hard for me the mental battle that that battle the stomach battle none of that is hard for me it's always just been the exercise which is something that once i get to my goal here i'm gonna have to you know, adopt that lifestyle into my life going forward here to try to figure out, you know, just make sure I'm getting out for these walks or, you know, when the winter hits, start doing more activities or when the gyms open back up and stuff. I need to just bring that into my life more than I, than I ever previously did and try to find fun ways to like get exercise. You know what I mean? Cause that's, for me, that's the hard part. Um, but yeah, I just thought it, I thought it was a very interesting concept that like there is this almost this justification of carrying 20 30 extra in society that people look at as like normal or whatever almost to like justify our like lazy complacency and like you know be like ah for, we don't have to worry about it we're, we're all good we're fine like no, no, no but but in like all actuality it's like a lot of us are carrying more weight than we should and it's like you know we're kind of all lying to ourselves or saying that it's okay and it is okay if you're happy with yourself and that's you know that's your journey it's cool for you it's just it, 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 it all comes down to like if you feel good and if you're happy with yourself so you know I got to a point where I wasn't stoked with myself so I just need to get back to that point and then like I said from there maybe I'll take it further maybe I'll take this all the way to like maybe I'll get the fittest I ever have for the first time in my life you know maybe I'll just get momentum I'll get the ball rolling I'll get addicted to it right I could see it happening but uh, I'm not gonna promise anything there's no guarantees uh, it would be awesome it would be ideal it would be cool but you know, even by nature, I'm not really that type of person, right? I don't, I'm not all about being shredded and like, it's not that serious to me, but it's all about just being okay with how I look in the mirror and being happy with myself, more or less. But anyways, that was just an interesting concept to my mind about society and the standard nowadays. Just the whole thing of like fit people are freaks, normal people are fit, kind of fat people are technically considered nor like they're fine and then fat people are or sorry morbidly obese people are just fat like i just think it's it's all a little twisted and we gotta like relook at things societally i guess that's what i'm saying but hey i'm completely a a victim and contributor of the whole thing so you know what i mean i, I am not exempt i'm never exempt from anything i talk about i feel like i feel like everything i talk about is from my own personal real subjective experience with it and I am not at all afraid to like own up to the fact that I am just as flawed as anybody else when it comes to all this shit. So anyways, that was a fun ass day. It was so, so vibes. It's so nice out, man. This just the summer. I'm just digging the summer energy so hard. And I hope you're, uh, you're, you're enjoying the weather too, wherever you are and uh, everything's good for you. So until the next one, you know what to do, eat good, live well and stay true.